All right, that one will. Except I'm covered in man glitter now. I'm certainly no expert on this, but last night with the laser, I made a mark on every post at six feet relative to my control post. So six feet on that post was leveled all the way around and that becomes my six foot mark. It's a six foot two mark. This is a six foot mark. And so now I'm just taking a simple uh, clamp, wood clamp, it's, my, it's just my way of doing it. Um, and I'm gonna unscrew it first. And I'm setting it so that it is right on the line that I have drawn. I drew the line on two sides. And now I'm just gonna tighten the wood clamp. And what that's gonna do is give me a little shelf at that six foot line. That looks pretty good. Crank it down a little bit so it's not gonna move on me. And then I'm gonna get on the ladder and I'm gonna go up the post. I've got a board here. It's just a, it's, again, it's a remnant. That junk pile is magic. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take this is uh, I've cut this to exactly eight feet. So remember the the top of the post all the way around is supposed to be 14 feet according to the plans. And so from this six foot mark, I'm going to take this eight foot board up and I'm just going to set it on here and then I'll climb up the ladder and at the top I'll mark where that is that's 14 feet relative to that corner post. And I'll get up there, and I really should have a smaller level for doing this, but I can't find it, because I can't. So uh, I'll get up there, and then I'll make the lines uh, on the sides at 14 feet, just leveling it with the bubble, not assuming that the post is straight at the top. So I just don't want to use a square, because that line could come off at an angle, it could come whatever. So this is my best way to get a level uh, uh, indicator up there. That's how I'm doing that. that uh, the next step after this is going to be to cut those posts off at the top at that level and try and get them eh, at the right, because the trusses are going to rest on it. And I don't want them resting, you know, at a funky angle or something, which just takes all the stress off of where it should be and puts it somewhere else on the truss. All right, so that's how I'm doing that. And there you have it, 12 times all the way around. That one will, except I'm covered in man glitter now. But uh, now we got all these cut. Hey, two that were not really good. They're kind of, uh, but the rest are tolerable. So now what we'll do is we'll set the tape measure at the top uh, and then go along and once again measure and hit the 12, 24, 36, 48. Uh, so we have the desired truss center on each post and then when we're done with that and we mark that we'll use the level to give us a vertical line in that at that 12 24 36 48 spot and that will give us the desired alignment for the holes that are currently on the truss for where the carriage bolts go through and our goal when we get them up there is just to line those up drill holes through those lock the carriage bolts through, and then ratchet that thing into place. Right. It was at this moment that he knew.
I think we're there. I think so. sides on both sides got the first truss ready to lift got the other trusses laid in place so that we can just lay them out bolt them together and get on with lifting um, a few of these purlins I've left out too long like the one that's a smiley face over here but I get this part of the yard back I'm gonna collect up this trash here just the straps and whatnot and then I think tomorrow I'm going to move the, uh, the chicken coop over here and just let the girls have a chance of tearing into anything that's living down in there. We got two up and we're gonna put some purlins on here now to uh, just try and connect them and give them a little more rigidity side to side. So far we got. We're making good progress. So this is the situation. Uh, this is why we called a stop other than the fact that the day is over. These. As we were working our way down and putting purlins along the edge, purlins are the, the wood runners. As we were putting those up, we just, we were looking up, we became aware that the trusses were just kind of, you know, going a little bit this way, a little bit that way, maybe a little twist. And we just became concerned that if the trusses, at the top center of the trusses were not, you know, didn't have purlins in them that kept them at the right spacing, we ran the risk of, you know, basically climbing up a little bit higher and higher and higher and having those purlins be of just the wrong length, which ultimately ended up forcing, I got my hand, forcing the purlins, uh, forcing the trusses apart, or maybe a little bit close. And we were gonna be uh, struggling with the length of the purlins as we were going up. So we called a stop, uh, tomorrow's a day. Um, one of my other friends who showed up, uh, Bob was here today. Uh, he knows a guy who's got scaffolding that we can use. So we're gonna get some scaffolding and we're gonna erect that here in the middle and that should allow us to secure the centers of the trusses at the 12 foot spacing required in a way that doesn't require us leaning or otherwise putting pressure on those trusses in order to do it. Once those are connected down the center, um, then we have a little bit more consistency in, in the way that these things are gonna measure out. Really good day though. I mean, good progress. But it just, 
you start talking about numbers and when things start not adding up correctly, you know, you got 12 foot on one side and suddenly the other side, it's like 11, three quarters, 11 feet, 11 and three quarter inches. The question comes up in our minds, do you run the risk of exacerbating a problem or a mismeasurement the further you go without giving yourself a standard? So we'll do the 12 foot in the middle and at least those will hold that spacing the same. And then we know we can just work to the ends, whatever that needs to be. So that's what we're gonna do. Couldn't, do, I, I don't think I could be doing this by myself. That's a fact. So it's great to have friends with a lot of experience who've done some things like this, but other kinds of things that just require common sense and good judgment when it comes to getting the numbers right. So, all right, well, there you have it. Talk to you guys later.